to Round 5 of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of September 13th. I'm Nicole Eredix, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. Today we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. So uh, this week, actually, I've been watching a lot of um, this fellow on YouTube, his name is Jackson Galaxy. And he is very well known for his uh, insight into cat and kitten behavior. <laughs> <laughs> is this the guy from My Cat from Hell? Yes. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> yes. He's I, I think it is. He's like, got a mustache beard. He's got tattoos on his arms. Yeah, I think that's <laughs> yeah. the guy. Yeah. So... He's got lots of great tips. And so we have this new kitten and we're trying to introduce it to our older cat and our dog. And so, yeah, so my husband and I have been sitting down and watching his videos and getting some tips and advice on how to make it happen, make the, you know, the introduction of the new family member as successful as possible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, And he's, um, yeah, he's great. He's definitely got lots of very practical um, helpful tips. And we actually watched him when we had our first cat, when we first got Ellie mm-hmm. and he, and it was very helpful. And, um, so I highly recommend Jackson galaxy. If you cool. got, if you have a new kitten in your family or another, an older cat that has, that you're having issues with. So <laughs> yeah. Hopefully Catherine, you don't have you? a cat oh. from hell. You just have a cat oh, that oh. needs some Attention. I hope so. <laughs> Let's all cross our fingers. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I am going to mention, uh, you may have seen this because I feel like it's making the rounds, but um, there's, <laughs> I first encountered it on Facebook, um, Teenager Pro Tips. <laughs> and these are very funny little snippets of advice for, <laughs> for you know, purported advice for teens on how to... Um, how to be the best they can be and annoy your parents. Um, you know, for example, also it's funny because on Facebook, it, the like sort of what kind of page it is, is called a janitorial service. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's just, you know, t- pro tip, where to put wrappers, candy in the sofa, band-aid on the counter. <laughs> You know, and, and the, another one was like, have as many, all your shoes should be white and they should all be by the back door, you know, by blocking the door um, mm-hmm. is another, is another excellent one. So it's, it's very, very relatable um, to any parents <laughs> of teenagers. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> It's a good. It's a good one. Charge your phone by first unplugging your mobs. <laughs> that it, we get a lot. Like, yeah, but you were yeah. on eighty four percent, and I was on three percent, or whatever. Like, okay, fine. Uh, not like we don't have an abundance of chargers that right. we could all be charging at the same time. Imagine. Think of another person. (laughs) (laughs) Not among the pro tips. (laughs) No. Never. (laughs) Too funny. How about you, Terry? What do you have this week? Oh, well, I want to shout out a platform for live streamed live concerts called Fly Machine. I recently Mm -hmm. uh, saw that a, a country artist I liked was doing a benefit concert. And, you know, it was in Nashville. So it's like, oh, well, that sounds really cool. There was a bunch of people in it that I was interested in. But, you know, number one, I'm not in Nashville. Number two, I don't do live concerts anymore because the uh, the bother balance and the fun of going to a live event balance is, at my age, the bother is more. But then I saw that they were going to provide a live stream because they had sold out so quickly. So you can make a donation and get a pass to go see the live stream of the concert on this fly machine. And it was fantastic. It was really good. It was Mm -hmm. like you were there. They, uh, you know, the camera angles and everything alternating between close-ups and further away. And you could see the people there in the venue. So you felt like you were kind of part of it. Uh, And it was was really enjoyable. The technical 
uh, aspect of it was really good. When I when it first started, the sound was a little off, and I thought, oh, well, is that my computer or is that them? This is too bad. And then it got fixed. So they obviously were adjusting things as they went along. They also have a feature where you can either join a public room or start a private room with your friends. So you could theoretically, if a bunch of friends wanted to watch this live stream, you could be talking to each other. I'm not sure whether it's it's texting or actual speaking. But so to, to give a communal feeling of being at a live event, uh, I'm antisocial, so I wouldn't want that part. <laughs> but I do very much like being able to watch a concert in another part of the country that I'm interested in and mm-hmm. have that live concert experience without having to drive someplace, park, pay $15 for a beverage, uh, have people standing up in front of me, and then spend 45 minutes getting out of the parking lot. So awesome. You I make think it sound this, really fun. Going I know. Fun. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Old lady, the bother balance goes, you know, goes to to a point where you can no longer actually enjoy the event. So anyway, I think this is a relatively new thing, Fly Machine, and they don't have a whole lot of concerts right now, but I keep an eye on it. And uh, if you ever see an event that looks interesting to you that has a live stream on Fly Machine, check it out. It's uh, It was really, really enjoyable and gave me the yeah. feeling of having been at a concert, even though I was sitting comfortably in my own home. That's cool. Um, so for these pandemic times also, yeah. very nice. Mm-hmm. And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts. To hear what we have to say about child rearing lies and lucky accidents, kids' toys we hate, and kids' lack of sympathy for us. You can also find all our episodes at ParentingRoundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter, where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mamatude, where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday. <laughs>